Well, he's been referred to as the most renowned pop artist of our time. His work can be found in dozens of major cities all across the world, from Brazil to China to Switzerland to right here in South Florida. His name is Romero Brito, and his style of art is, well, just irresistible. It's a unique combination of colors and textures and positive images, just incredibly effective. I absolutely love it. It's a pleasure to have him on The Balancing Act this morning. Romero, thank you so much for being with us on the show. Oh, no, it's great. I'd love to be here with you. I'm a big fan, and it's great what you do, and very, very honored to be well, here. Well, let's reverse that fan, because I'm, I'm a big fan <laughs> of yours as well. And, and I, cool. I want to give our viewers just a little bit of, your, of the background of your work. You've just done so much. You've been honored and recognized countless times for your amazing work, both your artwork and your humanitarian work. You recently met with Nobel Peace Prize winner President Shimon Perez and his foundation, where you actually painted with Israeli and Palestinian children. You published your children's books, which I absolutely love. You've been honored with the Humanitarian Award by the Hispanic Heritage Foundation in Washington, D.C. And this I love. You collaborate with Bentley, the car company Bentley, yeah. on the Brito Bentley uh, Continental GT concept car. The first time Bentley, by the way, has collaborated with a visual artist in their 90-year history. You've spoken on countless peace panels and forums. I know I'm leaving out a whole lot. Super Bowl 2007. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing what you've done. I'm amazed. Are you amazed by all of this? Well, I mean, listen, I never thought that Maori would take me that, you know, to so many people and places in my life and for me it's a surprise and uh, it's also very good to be a surprise uh, and I think it's very very cool and very interesting you know all the stuff that's happening with my career and uh, I feel like I'm just in the beginning of my career basically there's so much to be done there's so many opportunities out there in the world with so many countries emerging like Russia and China you know have so much space um, and there's so much possibilities in there, Brazil and India. So these are so many new places to share my art. And also here in America as well, there's so much places, so many people, you know, to enjoy, you know, art and to participate somehow. What were you like as a little boy? What I, what I was like? Oh, well, when I was a kid, I was the kind of kid that my mother, of course, had nine kids in Brazil, right? So and where do you fall in that? I was the eight of the eight child. Eight of nine, okay. Eight Almost of nine, the youngest, youngest yeah. one. So I was the one that most of my brothers would like to kind of exercise power over. So, you know, I didn't have my father. and tease I didn't have my father around, but I have, like, several siblings, you know, like even my little sister, she wanted to exercise power over me. It was very challenging, you know, it was difficult and, uh, you know, I was, you know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't wish to no kid to grow up in, in the you know the circumstance that I grew, I had grown up. You why know? do you, why do you say that? Well, it was very difficult, and uh, you know, growing up without your father, sure. you know, whatever there's like uh, money, you know, lack of uh, you know things around your home, you know, your school was everything was kind of challenging. Okay. Things start getting better actually in my life when I moved out of Brazil. I love Brazil, but when I left Brazil, things started getting even better for me. And, and I, now when I go back to Brazil, it's amazing, it's wonderful, it's all like carnival. Well, did art then become kind of your escape? Well, art for me, when I, when I used to come back from school, I used to basically spend a lot of time doing drawings. I love doing drawings under the guava tree in my mother's house. We, there was a table, and I love to be there. I spent a lot of hours. Uh, my, I was very lucky bas uh, because I had my art. You know, I had this thing. You know, I didn't know it was my art. I just like doing drawings and doing doodlings, whatever I could. So I focus all my energy into that. And today, when I look at my work, I feel like the composition of my art, where everything fits, where everything is very clean. So I almost feel that the organization of my art is the way I would like my life to be from mm. a long time ago to today and to the future. I like things to be in, in place. I'm very about being organized. So. You're joining us right before you fly off to Paris, uh, where your artwork will be showcased at the Carousel de Louvre. This must be just a dream, right? A dream of yours. Yes, I mean, it is incredible. I mean, for me to be able to have my work shown in so many places, from the opening ceremony of the Super Bowl to show at the World Economic Forum, 
to show in Brazil, in the National Museum of Art in Brazil, was a huge honor to show my work at the White House when I did this a few years back, and, uh, and also show my work in Hyde Park, connected to the most incredible art exhibition of, of all time in Great Britain, was the return of King Tutankhamo. I had another big one outside the O2, and then a smaller one inside of the British Museum, and my art was close to the Rosetta Stone, you know, it was oh, wow. incredible. And now I have my work at, at the Carousel. The Louvre is a huge thing, and I'm so, you know, like, thrilled about the whole thing. But I know also that this is just, I feel this is the beginning of so many wonderful things that, that are going to be done. there's still a long way there's for you so to much, go. Yeah, because, I, you know, I'm, I feel, like, very young. I feel like there's so many opp opportunities out there for me and for my art, so... Which is great, I, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to be able to share and to leave this now. So, when did you realize you'd made it big? <clears throat> Was there a moment where you said, "Wow, I'm a Meryl Brito, and this is my art. This is what I've created." Was there a moment that it just clicked that? No, oh, I haven't had that moment yet. No, I mean actually, no, I don't. I never think that way. You know, one thing I realized is that you can be here today and not tomorrow. Like some artists that did amazing work, they had an amazing career like Picasso, Andy Warhol, they left their contribution. And what I'm doing, you know, is like I enjoy what I do, but I hope that my art will be a sort of, some sort of contribution to somebody somewhere. And, you know, today people tell me that my art brings some sort of happiness mm -hmm. and stuff. I think the success is more in the head of people. And uh, because I have so many everyday things that I need to take care of, um, of course I appreciate things that come in. The accolades, absolutely. Well, you're right. Your art does certainly bring a lot of happiness, a lot of joy to a lot of people. And I do want to talk to you about that when we come back from the break. So stick around for us for just a couple minutes, okay? Great. We're going to have more with Meryl Brito when we come back. And welcome back, everybody. We're going to continue our conversation now with artist Romero Brito. And, you know, we were talking uh, right before the break about the positive energy and the happiness that your artwork brings. I mean, it really is kind of refreshing, I guess, to be surrounded by this positivity and kind of the negative times that we're living in today. What drives you to keep producing these images that are so happy and so upbeat and just really bring smiles to people's faces? Well, I think, you know, is uh, I think where I came from and um, it's been like something that's implanted in, in uh, it's been like with me for quite a while since I was a kid. But I, you know, in terms of today, what I do with my art, I think there's so many beautiful, more beautiful things in the world than ugly stuff. When you think about, if we would be able to go to the deep oceans, you know, we would see miracle, kind of this everyday life coming over, mm -hmm. happening like in the deep oceans. If we're gonna go to the, the jungles of the world, if we're gonna be able to go in our body, every day something amazing happening with our body, the cells, you know, like our skin, renovating. Ah, so many incredible things happening that we can't see, and things that we see also, you just have to go out there and look at. But we have few things happening, and, uh, and I think the media today is so, all over the world, so many, there's so many networks, so much images that, and sounds coming over to, to us that we think that the world's coming apart, but I don't think so. I think we just had to pay attention for beautiful thing that's out there and the good news that's happening out there. And then it's going to be more inspiring to us. So. I think that's, that, that's so important. It's interesting. You just reminded me of something. I was watching um, Will Smith, and he said something to the effect of, you know, greatness is born on the edge of, the, of destruction. And when I think about your childhood, you talked about the fact that it was difficult and that it was negative. And you turn that into something that is quite beautiful and something that is quite positive because everybody knows a Romero Brito piece when they see it. I mean, it's extremely distinctive. How did you come up with the concept, the lines, the colors, the textures? I think it's been a whole journey because I, I was always drawn into colors. And, and I felt that colors was like very important to my life. And a lot of people ask me if my life is like my paintings. And I think that's one thing that if someone, you know, think about good things or express themselves with good things, then they're going to end up turning things around. You know, I, I put the music on and if I have a day that's really challenging, I put the music on and then I'm going to go to paint and I start thinking about good things and then tomorrow is going to be better and then we go. Well, speaking of art, I, you know, obviously I'm here looking at 
all this beautiful, colorful art here on the table in front of us. Explain what we're looking at here. Well, right. I mean, we're looking at right now, like for instance, from this book, there's about my art, there's so many things from, you know, a little write up in here, you know, pa Paulo Coelho that I admire so much. He's an amazing writer who wrote The Alchemist. Beautiful. And he wrote this beautiful thing from pictures, you know, from the Pyramid Project. There's a lot of things oh, that I did, you know. Um, recently and mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, from mm -hmm. this one I did for Holly I mean for the Steinway Holly Davidson and then there is a book in here that is the the first this one actually here um, is the first book that I've done ever uh, with Simon my Schuster it, yeah so it's, it's an ABC book and I always wanted to do a book when my son was a little boy and uh, but we ended up buying we have thousands of books I mean my son we got thousands of books in the house mm -hmm. his mother is the best mother in the world that she really you know give it to him the opportunity for him to be interested in books so we have basically a lot of books but now he's older he got this book in here and uh, when he got his own kids he's gonna you know give them away for them and it's, it's great. I mean, I, I love the opportunity to share my art with those little ones. And uh, Absolutely. Uh, you know, I can't help but notice <laughs> the Mickey Mouse, which yeah. I think is well, absolutely the Mickey Mouse, incredible. The Mickey Mouse, actually, I did 10 years ago a project with Disney, and um, it was so successful. And Disney recently had approached me again, and I'm doing another project with them, which was now to do it before I did Art for the Walls. And, uh, and I did some pieces also for the stores. And this time is going to be like a lot of miniature sculptures mm -hmm. first, and then I'm going to do art for the wall as well. So this is like my interpretation of Mickey Mouse. And so there's several other ones, Mickey Mouse in, all in black and white, winter in Mickey oh, Mouse. Oh, nice. So and there'll be mini as well. So and it's going to be in the parks. There. Yeah, Wonderful. it's going to be in the parks. It's all about magic. And I'm really so, so honored and happy to, to uh, work with uh, such an amazing company. And uh, and put a little bit of my art in the art of Walt Disney. He was an amazing artist. He was artist. an amazing artist yes. as well. And you know that brings me to this question. I've often thought about this with you. you. You've done so much. Is there a piece that you can pinpoint as your favorite? Well, I you know the piece that I uh, this project that I did was so special to me was when I was asked by United Nations to create six stamps. It was, it was to promote education mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. change of the millennium. And the Kofi Annan, the former president of the United Nations, he really wanted to promote education. And for me, education is such an important thing in anybody's, anybody's life, you mm -hmm. know, a child, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. life. You know, if you have education, you're able to dream and make your dream come true. Because a lot of time people dream, but they just don't know how to make it, how to do it. Mm -hmm. If you have education, a little drive, there you go. Is that you why know? the Brito Foundation is so near and dear to your heart? Yeah, education, basically. I think, you know, if you give education to somebody, some knowledge, that's, you know, that's the best gift you can give to a person. I have to tell you, the best gift you've given to the world is your art. I am oh, so you. inspired by you, and thank you so much for being with us on the show this morning. Absolutely a pleasure. No, thank you. Thank you so much for bringing, to having me over, and uh, can't wait to see you soon. You know I'm coming to the studio. Please. All right. Okay. Please. <laughs> and if you'd like more information on Romero Brito's artwork or about the Brito Foundation, check out his website at brito.com. And once again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you.